Hello and welcome to our next video. Today we are going to see how finite difference method can be used to solve Schrodinger equation for four different potentials. Coulomb potential, screen coulomb potential, and harmonic oscillator and Morse potential. And we are going to find the energy eigenvalues and the corresponding wave functions. First is the coulomb potential. Before continuing further, I suggest you to watch my previous video on how to solve Schrodinger equation using finite difference method part 1. The present video is a sequel to that. The basics of finite difference method and its implementation for Coulomb potential has been explained in detail in that video. The link of the video has been provided in the description box. So now we'll continue from where we left in the previous video. Now this is the program that we have already discussed on solving Schrodinger equation for Coulomb potential. Before moving further, let's uh, look at the program quickly and uh, put uh, comments for better understanding. Give the program a suitable title. First, uh, constants are defined. Then the range of R is defined. Then a uniformly spaced grid of R is created. Distance between successive grid points is also calculated. Then potential energy matrix is formed as shown in the figure. Then kinetic energy matrix is also formed as shown in the figure. Then Hamiltonian matrix is formed and its eigenvalues and uh, eigenvectors are calculated using spec function. The eigenvalues at uh, diagonal are extracted. Finally, the energy eigenvalues are displayed and the corresponding eigenfunctions are plotted. Now we are removing some features that we added so that uh, results and graphs look better. Some of those features might not work here since we are using a different version of Scilab here, 6.1.0. So first uh, remove this string feature. Increase the line width of the plot to 5. Remove exit and also the font size feature of x and y labels. We don't want a grid also. Now run this program. So we have got the ground state energy and first excited state energy in electron volts. Maximize graphical window. Now there is a problem here that we haven't discussed in the previous part of this video. Actually both the ground state and first excited state wave function are inverted. Now we can rectify this by increasing uh, R max to say 60. Since uh, we have increased the range of R, so increase the value of N to say 2000. Let's run the program again. Ok, so now energy eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenfunctions both are ok. But uh, every time it's not possible to adjust the range of R. And uh, since just the shape of the wave function is inverted, so it's better to take the mod or uh, absolute value of the wave function. Because uh, ultimately it's the probability that is more valuable and important. It's the probability that has a physical interpretation and uh, probability is the square of the wave function. So change R max to 10 into 1000 and take absolute value of the wave function using ABS function. Also put the symbol of mod in Y label, run the program. Finally one very important point, here second column of U is considered as the ground state wave function and third column as the first excited state. As discussed in the previous part of this video, the first column of U was giving erratic values. It's because of the very low value of R min, 10 raised to the power 
minus 10. So if we change Armin to say 0 0.01, then first column of u will be the ground state wave function and second column will be the first excited state wave function without any erratic behavior. So is the case with energy. The first element of uh, E will be the ground state energy and second element will be the first excited state energy. Run the program. We can change font size of uh, labels, axis values and legend using axis editor from uh, axis properties in edit menu of graphical window as shown in the video. Now same program can be used for other cases also. We just need to vary the values of constants, expression for potential and some changes in display and plot. Let's move on to the second case that is screened coulomb potential. Here Vr is equal to minus e square by r dot exponential of minus r by a and we have to find energy eigenvalues and wave functions for different values of screening constant a. Let's uh, modify the program accordingly. Change the title. Define different values of screening constant a1 equal to 3, a2 equal to 5 and uh, a3 equal to 7 angstrom. Now change the potential also. rest will remain unchanged let's uh, run the program so we get the values of uh, ground state and first excited state energy along with the corresponding wave functions for a equal to 3 angstrom we can change a1 to a2 or a3 in the expression for potential and find the corresponding solutions separately but uh, we can also find the solutions for uh, all three values of screening constants simultaneously for this we have to define different expressions of potential for different values of screening constants let the first potential energy matrix be v1 for screening constant a1 similarly we can have expressions for v2 and v3 for screening constants a2 and a3 respectively. Since there are three expressions for potentials V1, V2 and V3, there will be three expressions for Hamiltonian matrix also H1, H2 and H3. Evaluate eigenvalues and eigenvectors for all three Hamiltonian matrices. Extract eigenvalues also for uh, all three cases. In the display function, do the following modifications so that uh, energy eigenvalues for all three screening constants can be displayed. We can use the function subplot and uh, divide the graphical window vertically and horizontally. Here we are dividing graphical window into three parts vertically just like uh, one column and three rows. So it's subplot 3 comma 1 comma 1. 3 represents number of vertical divisions. First one represents number of uh, horizontal division and second one represents the position of the plot on the graphical window. Change uh, u to u1 in plot function, run the program. 
So first set of curves for a equal to 3 is uh, plotted. Similarly, we can plot for other two cases. Copy these four expressions and paste them. Change the position of the plot to 2. Change uh, u1 to u2. Similarly, do it for third plot. To discriminate between the three plots, we can give suitable titles to each. We can also set the position of the title like this 5 and 0 0.08 are the coordinates of the title statement inside the plot window. X coordinate is 5 and Y coordinate is 0 0.08. Run the program. We can increase the font size as we did earlier using Access Editor. These are the ground and first excited state energies for different values of screening constant. Now we move on to the third case that is an harmonic oscillator potential. Here potential is given by half kr square plus 1 by 3 br cube. In this case r is in femtometer and energy in mega electron volts. We have to find energy eigenvalues and wave functions for three different values of an harmonic constant b. Change the title, then change the values of the constants as shown in figure. Here, Armin can be zero also. Now change the potential V1, V2 and V3 for different values of B. Change the display statement. Now energy will be in MeV. Instead of A as 3, 5 and 7, we have B as 0, 10 and 30. Also modify title. Run this program. These are the values of energy in uh, MEV for different values of B. These are the corresponding wave functions. We can change the fonts on the graphical window as we did earlier. So last is the Morse potential. The expression for potential is shown in the figure. Here R is in angstrom and uh, energy in electron volts. Let's implement it now. Change title, then the values of constants. Here we don't need to vary the constants uh, D, R0 or A. 
so we need only one expression for potential and hamiltonian matrix so remove the extra two expressions everywhere remove two extra plots also delete title also modify display as shown in the video remove this extra one also from e u and v modify the expression for potential as shown in the figure remove these extra one we forgot to delete this uh, subplot function now run the program so we have got the energy eigen values and the corresponding wave functions finally one last point u here is not the radial wave function if we divide it by r then we get the radial wave function if you like this video share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet